Hey guys, CoinFlipSci here doing a short video on optimal 3-betting and fold to 4-bet numbers. These two are inherently linked together um, as an increase in 3-betting will generally lead to a fall, a fall in fold to 4-bet and vice versa. So you should be regularly checking these numbers. Um, today I'm going to be analysing the, the database of MicroStakes grinder El Ross Miro. Um, so firstly get your buy position report page open and then add in 3-bet and fold to 4-bet stats. So firstly 3-betting. So as we can see, Hero's overall 3-bet is 3.8%. I would say this number is far too low. Um, traditionally, we want to be 3-betting around 8% for 6-max, um, but these days, many of the best players are in fact 3-betting more, um, up to 10% or so. Different players make different strategies work, but we don't want to be straying too far from the 7-10% to 10 range. In general, the games are a lot tighter at micro states, so being on the lower end, um, say around 6 to 8% is going to be fine. Um, positionally, we want to be 3-betting the least in MP and increasing in steady increments until we reach the small blind where we want to be 3-betting the most. In the big blind, we're going to be doing a lot of defending by calling and our 3-bet hit here should be pretty close to the percentage we have on the button. The increment increase are, su are as such because we are 3-betting versus wider ranges the later the position we 3-bet. So naturally, our 3-bet needs to increase accordingly. As mentioned before, Hero needs to, to needs to three bet a ton more everywhere. But it's important also to look at his how his relative numbers appear also. As we can see here, Hero is three betting more in the cutoff than he is in the MP, which should be the other way around. While his three bet on the button is probably the biggest leap. Here, he needs to be three bets close to his big blind percentage, which is currently almost a third higher than his button three bet percentage. His small blind and big blind three bet look proportionately fine. So fault to 4-bet. Overall, we can see Hero's fault to 4-bet percentage to be 48%. This is actually a good overall number. Ideally, we want to be folding to 4-bets around 44 to 45-55%. to 55%. If we are folding more than 55%, we are folding too much um, and are going to open ourselves up to being 4-bet bluff too much. Likewise, if we are calling 4-bets with too many weak hands or 5-betting too light, that number will likely to be below 45%. Having said that, there are some good winning players um, who fold to format above or below these numbers. But in general, it is good to stay within that range. And the closer the to 50%, um, the better. And I would say it's probably better to be below 50% than above 50%, if that makes sense. Um, positionally, our fold to format should remain around that range for all positions. While Hero has a good fold to format, this should be completely expected considering how low his 3-bet is. With that 3-bet percentage, I would expect the number to be very low indeed. If Hero is starting to 3-bet more, as I believe he should, then inevitably his fold to forward will increase as he folds the weaker parts of his range um, he wasn't previously 3-betting. This is certainly to watch, something to watch out for, and it is likely regs are rarely, if ever, 4-bet bluffing him um, as he 3-bets so tight. It's worth noting, um, as mentioned before, that our hero is playing, you know, micro stakes of 10 an hour and below. So people do play a lot tighter and tend to rarely fall at bluff. However, if hero is to successfully move up, um, it is really important that he addresses these leaks. Thanks for watching.